Can we survive with negative 439 debt playing a super chaotic run? We're about to find out. And taking cursed fights. So Northern Sun. I don't know how I feel about Northern Sun. I also, I don't think chaotic ley lines that good. I already get enough random bonuses. I also don't think this healing cube's that good. The rest of these are pretty good. Maybe, maybe I should get rid of Northern Sun and Chaotic Drone, but they're okay. Chaotic Drone's pretty good. All right. Liquid. So Chaotic Drone could sit above this. Oh no, you're cheating. They are cheating. Also, they have Replica Crab. They are cheating. What do we get? Vengeance? 3x Vengeance. Why does this get so many things added to it? 3x Melee. Growth 15. Regen 15. Poisonous 15. Retaliate 1. If something damages this, this thing could go wild with applying poison. Can their leader somehow hit that? Devouring. Crippling. Deadly. But it doesn't have an attack. Devouring. Extra HP, crippling. So the first two are the most interesting so far. Strength six, but no attack. Devouring growth, extra HP. Retaliate. Retaliate makes this one really appealing to me. I think I'm gonna place that one into the world. Three times retaliate too. Retaliate plus poison. Growth, 868. What? Before a cube heals or grants an ability to another ally of it, it also does it back and even gives one extra HP if at zero HP. And this thing would become a leader if I'm about to die. So Curse of Debt is the only thing that scares me right now, I think. Because this thing, I'm pretty sure, can destroy everything else in the world. Hmm. So I place that down. This has growth 124 because of that weird bouncing back and forth thing. Then... I place this down. This has growth 868 again. So that's not random. Very interesting. Vengeance 10. Melee. Regen. I'm pretty tempted to put growth onto this stone. Oh, what about the northern st stone? Sun! After this is created, add a random cube with the Ascension ability. Ascension affects the first thing, which would be this, I think. Northern Sun. That's an add-on. So this, Healing Project. No, that's just a random cube. This is the Ascension. Hive Mind Ascension. Every minute, generate one mana. Ascension. Give leader to things. To the first thing. To growth. Which would give leader to whatever gains the growth. And... No, that's all. But this costs 70 mana. After this is created, first cube in your hand, which doesn't have leader. Giving leader to this would be so good. Listen, I'm just going to place the rest of these. I'm gonna try and defend myself from this acid. I don't know how that projectile didn't break. Oh, it just did damage to it. Chaotic drone would go over the enemies. Warrior slime. With enough growth, I could just drop this into the water. After this takes damage, set this cube's name to the culprit's name. Do what?
Reinforced glass. Which one took damage? Missile. That's so weird. Okay. Healing project. Um, before this dies, allies gain HP regeneration per minute equal to the energy on this. That would be pretty good to place. Retaliate lifesteal. Gains extra HP. But this high of ascension, that's what I want to place. This has 10 HP. Generate mana, growth regen. I guess this just goes here. This little warrior slime. It comes with shadow too. Climbing, it just doesn't do much. Replic crab. What about a chaotic drone? Chaotic drone would be kind of good to make into a leader with tons of growth. I mean, it would be kind of good. And I could speed it up. Let's keep it on this level, I guess. Oh, I should have waited until I had five more. You have enough growth that I think you live through that shot. No problem. What just happened with this? It lives because it has one HP. Weird. Very weird. This one has melee and vengeance and it lives. If I put growth onto these rings of time, they're so weird. That's a big rock. If anything shoots this because of the retaliate, I think this rock alone kind of wins me the game. You can't fight. Look at how quick this thing gains health. Sadly, it doesn't do any real damage. Just you wait. Puzzle box. Should I put... I should just put this here and then put down the puzzle box because this one gains so much more growth. And it's a leader. So all of the ones that get created from the puzzle box will be leaders. This game is wild. You are shooting these projectiles. You're trying to break through. They just created three common ant hills. Why did they create three? Shadow Witch. Six times per second, grant the cube above shadow. Create a solid shadow on death, inheritable. Weird. They're making multiple copies of things. Maybe that's because of something I did. I'm not sure. Poisonous 15. Over a thousand HP. Over a thousand HP. You're so lucky this thing doesn't have poison on it. Northern Sun. Ascension ability. I could give... Huh. So I already have this one. With tons of growth. This doesn't die immediately. Okay, I'm going to place that here. What did it create? It created Stone Ascension. After this is created, first cube in your hand with less than 20 HP gains one extra HP. Eh, that's not helpful. I guess it is helpful. It goes to this one. Weird. It's not very good, but it's something. They're trying to break through the glass. They are doing that. Let's put this here. Let's put this down. Stone Ascension, you now have two HP. 
put down another growth. I'm really tempted to try and dump out the acid. I don't know if it makes sense to do. Healing project. Lifesteal retaliate. Before this dies, every ally gains HP regen per minute equal to the energy on this. I should probably already have that into the world. I guess? But it's never gonna die. Everything has so much growth. It's not like I need the regen. I gain health quicker than I would heal. Vengeance Melly. How do I get more stone? So tempted to just break through. Chaos Gun. With growth 883. Leader. Deadly. Vengeance. Every 10 seconds, create a random projectile in front. That sounds really good. It only costs 38. I can get it even more growth. I could do Miracle of Fire. Miracle of Fire. Seems kind of good. Plus, it's cheap. Retaliatory Ward. Growth leader, devouring. Every 30 seconds, heals a random damaged ally for one HP. After an allied leader takes damage, deal one damage to the culprit. I, growth, leader. I don't know. Okay, this was the one that I wanted. But I kind of want to put down growth first. Every 10 seconds, you put out random projectiles. Poisonous mortar projectile. Which just did poison to the glass. 1751 um, growth. This one is poisoned now. I don't know how it got poisoned, but it did get poisoned. That helps. Something has healed it a bunch. Creation amplifi Amplifier. After a cube with a different name is created, create a copy of that cube above that cube. This has growth. This would cause problems. Summoning Pedestal. After an ally is created above, refund a fifth of the mana cost. All of this stuff is too wild. Retaliation Ward seems really good. Doesn't it? I don't know. My mana is full. This thing got to devour. It has 3x devouring too. It's never gonna break through the glass. Battery project. I retaliate. Leader growth. Before this dies, it's gonna do stupid. It's never gonna die. What does that do with this one? Refund a fifth of its mana cost. That created an energy thing. Remote shielding unit. Before an ally takes damage, use energy to negate damage at a rate of one damage per energy. Four energy per minute. Three times I is pretty good. I'm going to place it just for the three times I. Except it doesn't have growth. Oh. I just unpaused by mistake. I could have died to excess mana. Well, no. Somehow this leader has tons of health. How does this leader have tons of health? Growth 710, because they transfer stuff back and forth using res <laughs> I can't say this word. Reciprocity. There we go. Why is it so hard to read? I ribbon flower, 70 cost. Every 30 seconds, move upwards. 50% chance to create an eye below. Otherwise, create a plant stem below. Explosive damage amplifier. 
unique. After this is placed, exile a random non-leader ally with the same name and lose this ability. Armor, armor school. After a cube takes damage, deal one damage to every cube touching it. What about a strange crawler? Because that sounds pretty good to me. Except I already have an even cheaper version. I'm going to take it, but I don't know if I'm going to use it. Bottled slime. Let's see what this gives. That just gave four of something. By which I mean four different things, two of which were the same. Bottled finish only works outside of battles. Teleport to the last node of the map. You need to finish one more map than usual to win. Only works outside of battles. Teleport to a random node of the map except for the last six. Only works in battles. Add five random cubes to your hand. Start of a new map. Gain three <laughs> bottle teleport consumables. That ups the difficulty, but it is fun. Outside of battles, to teleport to the last node of the map, you need to finish one more map than usual. Click outside of battles to teleport to the last node of the map. Need to finish one more map than usual to win. Cost 10 gold. Must have more than zero gold. I do not have more than zero gold. Go back. This is where I wanted to go. Let's go do this. So now I could avoid the curse, I think. Okay. We're at negative 339. Bottled strength would be kind of good. Bottled healing, eh, after five minutes. Every 10 minutes, add random cubes that are free. Start a map. Don't need that. Backup plan. After your starting leader dies, a random ally, which doesn't die on a timer, gains 20 extra HP, and all of your starting leader, except abilities except this one eh. before mana is generated also generate 0.1 additional mana before an ally generates a positive amount of mana i just got two of those just got one i just got two Where's my chaotic addition? I don't get to see them. Mana Kettle is worth upgrading because I'll get extra copies. We just got two. Only got one. Backup plan. I don't need more of that. We're already at negative 699. That kind of feels like enough. I could get more than one strength. I think we're good. I think we are good. Are we good? I could go back. I could go to here. We could teleport to there. I could... T I... No, we're just going to go here. So, Strange Crawler. 1.5 seconds, 2 damage. I kind of prefer 2 thirds of a second, and this thing's super zoomy, and it costs 5 mana. I think you're out. Northern Sun was fun. Was fun. I think I even like the order that it's in. Let's go. Killer itself. Defeat. What? <laughs> Defeat. Immediate death. Perk reward. Curse of mystery. Gain a random cube, which can't be re-rolled, but also gain 20 gold. Curse of Wages. At start of each battle, lose one gold for every cube in your hand. Curse of Certain Doom. After an ally with more than zero HP is placed, set its HP to zero. I think I've already lost the game. Okay, game over. But you just had to give me the curses. The Elemental Species. There's another species? There's another species. Start. Elemental. Every 10 seconds, heal a random damaged ally for 3 HP. Oh, that's priest. 
Needs rework. After an ally is created one space above a neutral cube, that neutral cube is replaced by a combination of it and the ally which can't combine like this again. Is it an allied combination? Priest plus elemental. After an ally is healed, 10 random neutral cubes gain max HP and R without triggering anything healed the same amount. That sounds wild. Do I do that this episode? I've been doing a bunch of long episodes. I think today is a shorter episode. And then next time we will play. It doesn't have to be priest. We could go random. Cryomancer. I just don't like Cryomancer that much. It's okay. We could go priest. The priest one sounded good. Wait, let's look at this. Every second, every frozen neutral cube gains one frozen and heals one HP. That sounds so lame. Warrior. After a neutral cube takes damage by an enemy, your starting leader deals one damage to that enemy. That sounds like it could get me into trouble. There are things that retaliate, so you don't really want your leader doing uncontrolled damage all the time. After concentrate is created, create a doubled neutral copy above it i still haven't really done much with wizard i don't even know if i've played i think i have but i did like this one needs rework okay rogue plus elemental after a neutral cube dies you are allowed to place on its position replay okay Cryomancer we looked at. Engineer. After a neutral cube creates a neutral cube, convert the creation to your faction. After a neutral cube creates a neutral cube. Magma would work with this one. Where is Crystal? Oh, Crystal's on this side. Pyro. Every 40 seconds, or every 40 times neutral cubes take damage, your starting leader deals two damage. I don't think that one's that good. Chrono, this one's probably good. Placing a time warp above an enemy sets its faction to neutral. Oh god, and then I could put something above it to combine with the neutral. That seems broken. After a neutral cube dies, create an allied copy of itself without attuned in its place, which likely also then also dies. Allied copy of itself without attuned. Weird. I don't know about that one. The one that sounded strongest is always Engineer. Rogue sounds kind of good. Priest seems good. Hmm. I always want to play Engineer. Engineer is stupid. It's so good. We'll see. But that will be a decision for next time. For now, that does it for this episode. Thanks for watching.